Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a rational equation. We have 1 over x minus 1 over y equals 1 over x plus y. And we're going to be looking for x and y values. I'll be presenting two methods. And at the end, I'm going to show you a graph of this relation. So let's get started. First of all, notice that x cannot be 0, y cannot be 0, and x plus y cannot be zero. Now, under those conditions, let's go ahead and make a common denominator. That gives us y minus x divided by xy equals one over x plus y. Now let's go ahead and cross multiply, writing the x plus y as y plus x, so we can take advantage of difference of two squares. Difference of two squares is a very important identity uh, if you ask me, one of the most important ones. So if you multiply a plus b and a minus b, you get a squared minus b squared, and vice versa. Of course, it can also be factored that way. And this is very, very important. So using that, we can go ahead and write this product as y squared minus x squared, and that is equal to xy. Now, for my first method, I want to do the following. I want to complete the square on this expression, but let's go ahead and put the y squared and xy on the same side. So kind of write it this way. y squared minus xy is equal to x squared. Now, why did I put the y there? Because I want to solve, uh, I want to find the x in terms of y in terms of x. Okay, anyways, you'll get the idea. Now, to complete the square on the left-hand side, we need to add, we need to add x squared over 4 to both sides. So we're adding, we're basically adding x squared over 4 to both sides. Why? Because that completes the square. That completes the square, so it makes it a perfect square. So this becomes y minus x over 2 squared, and this becomes 5x squared over 4, which can be written as square root of 5 times x divided by 2 quantity squared. So now we have squares on both sides. So if you have a squared equals b squared, again using difference of two squares, we can find two solutions, either a equals b or a equals negative b. You could also get the result by square rooting both sides and then considering the absolute value, because in this case, absolute value of a is going to equal the absolute value of b which gives us two results. Anyways, uh, so from here, we can basically write y minus x over two equals root five x over two, which is the first one, and then we can write the opposite of root five x over two. Let's go ahead and work this out first. I wanna add x over two to both sides, but since these two have the same denominator, I can just go ahead and add them, square root of five x plus x divided by two. And then from here, y can be written as square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 multiplied by x. Okay, great. So we were able to write one of the solutions, y, in terms of x. Let's go ahead and write down the second one. The second one is just going to be like this, except we're going to have the opposite of the x term on the right-hand side. So it's going to be negative root 5x over 2. And just like before, if you add x over 2, you're going to get x minus root 5x over 2. And then from here, I, that can be written as 1 minus root 5 multiplied by x divided by 2. You can also write it as negative root 5 plus 1, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so those are the two solutions that we're getting from the first method. And notice that these are linear equations. At the end, I'm going to show you a graph of what is going on. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the second method and then we're going to take a look at the graph all right so here's the second method so for my second method let's go ahead and uh, write the original equation one more time so what was our equation so let's start here 1 over x minus 1 over y equals 1 over x plus y. 
and from here you get y minus x over x y equals 1 over x plus y cross multiplication gives you y squared minus x squared equals x y okay so this is where we are now for my second method I want to use quadratic formula so I, I want to turn this into a quadratic equation in a single variable how can I do that I can go ahead and put everything on the same side first put the x y in the middle set everything equal to zero and then divide by x squared why because that's going to turn this into a quadratic equation so like this y squared over x squared minus xy over x squared minus x squared over x squared equals 0 over x squared which is 0. Now this is y squared over x squared which is y over x squared. One of the x's cancel out leaving us with y, y over x. I can put, I don't need parentheses but I'm just going to express it that way. Minus 1 equals 0. So now I think this calls for substitution doesn't it? We can go ahead and say let y over x be t. It can be any variable. By the way, that also tells you this is a homogeneous equation. You could also use y equals kx or y equals tx. And that is also going to give you the same quadratic that you're getting from here. So it's the same idea, but uh, just different paths. Okay, so y over x equals t gives us t squared minus t minus 1 equals 0. And this is quadratic and one variable, so we can go ahead and solve it really easily. t can be written as negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, that is 1 plus 4, which is 5, square root of 5, divided by 2. And there are two values. So t equals 1 plus root 5 over 2. And if you remember, t is y over x so we can go ahead and set this equal to y over x and from here we're going to get y equals 1 plus root 5 over 2 times x and then we could also write this as 1 minus root 5 over 2 and then that is going to give us y over x again and y becomes 1 minus root 5 over 2 multiplied by x and then we can go ahead and take a look at the graph now. And what does the graph tell you? The graph gives you a pair of lines which are given by these equations. So those are going to be the solutions. Now, are there any integer solutions? You can check it out, something to think about. But basically, we have two lines that are in the form y equals mx, where m is the slope, and they go through the origin. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow. Sooner than that. Anyways, I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.